Hello my dear students welcome to CMIS online classes in today's class in this video for the students of standard 9 we'll start the new chapter from our English grammar that is active and passive voice that means in this video in this chapter we are going to understand first what is voice what are the kinds of voice that means especially we are learning about active and passive voice okay students so at first we will understand what is voice so we will see the definition of voice now so the definition of voice is written here what is voice voice in grammar is the form of a verb indicating the relation between the participants in a narrated event subject object and the event itself so voice according to grammar voice kya hai wo ek kriya ka rupe form of a verb jo kaam hum vyakt karte hai that walk takes place in different time um, time of actions we are talking about the time of actions so the actions that take place in sentences so the relation of that particular actions action with the participants participants means the subject that does action in the sentence and the object that receives the action done by the subject so the relation of the form of verbs with the subject and object in a sentence is voice is expressed by voice okay and the event itself and how event is performed itself it is also expressed by voice expressed through voice in grammar okay so common distinctions of voice found in languages are those of active and passive voice so what is voice we have understood here voice is the expression of actions that take place uh, in sentences so how the same actions are expressed differently that is said by voice that is that is expressed by voice depending upon the time of actions that particular action takes place and also indicating the relation between the participants participants there are always two participants of the actions one is the subject that does the action and another is the object though the object does not perform actions but it receives the action performed by the subject okay so common distinctions of voice found in languages are those of active and passive voice so uh, as i told you that voice is the expression of events events means actions that take place in sentences okay so uh, voice expresses the actions okay but the action can be expressed separately how we uh, how we express the actions that place that take place in sentences uh, differently it can be or the actions can be expressed separately uh, in voice according to active and passive voice now active and passive voice are the kinds of voice there are two types of voice one is active and another is passive voice now what is active and voice what is passive voice that we have to understand in this video okay so further we have to understand the definition of voice it tells us the actions so it stands for voice that means voice tells us the actions that take place in sentences सो वॉइस हमें क्या बताते हैं जो काम सेंटेंस पे होता है उस काम के बारे में हमें बताते हैं सो हाउ हाउ डज इट टेल अस अबाउट द एक्शंस दैट टेक प्लेस इन सेंटेंसेस द एक्शंस दैट टेक प्लेस इन सेंटेंसेस आर डन बाय द सब्जेक्ट और समथिंग इज डन टू द सब्जेक्ट्स सो इन टू वेज वी एक्सप्रेस द सेम एक्शंस वन इज इन एक्टिव वॉइस अनदर इज इन पैसिव वॉइस ओके so how by saying that the subject if the subject performs the action 
और समथिंग इज डन टू द सब्जेक्ट या तो वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट सब्जेक्ट आर द परफॉर्मर्स ऑफ द एक्शन ओके सो इफ द सब्जेक्ट आर द परफॉर्मर्स ऑफ द एक्शन ओके डायरेक्टली देन द सेंटेंसेस रिटर्न इज इन एक्टिव वॉइस बट इफ द इफ द इफ समथिंग इज डन टू द सब्जेक्ट वेन एक्सप्रेसिंग द एक्शन इन द डिफरेंट वे दैट इज पैसिव वॉइस we have different rules we have so many rules to follow while changing sentences into passive uh, into uh, passive voice from the active voice okay so all these rules we are going to understand in this video okay so before that let us know what are the types of voice and what is the definition of each voice with example okay now see here the voice is of two types there are two types of voice that means in two voices we can express the same actions express the same action like one in active voice one is active voice another is passive voice so let us see what is pass uh, what is active voice active voice a sentence is said to be in active voice if the subject is the in the sentence performs the action directly so how for example Sasi played the guitar at the party. He performed a dance on his friend's birthday celebration. So let us see. If you read this sentence, Sasi played the guitar. What is the action done here? Played. What is the verb here? Played. So who has played the guitar? Sasi. So what is Sasi here? Sasi is the subject here. Sasi is the noun which is used as the subject here. so here the action of playing guitar is done directly by the subject sasi so here if the sentence express the action which is directly done by the subject then it is the sentence written in active voice okay like in another sentence we have he performed a dance on his friend's birthday celebration who performed the dance he so he is the subject here so the subject is performing the actions direct action directly here in this sentence action of performing a dance so here the sentence is in active voice okay if the subject in a sentence perform the action directly then that sentence is in active voice okay now let us see what is passive voice passive voice a sentence is said to be in passive voice if the subject in the sentence is acted upon to the action performed in the sentence or something is done to the subject for example so if after reading the sentences and the actions that are performed in sentences if we come to know that the action that something is done to the performer of the action then the sentence is said to be in a passive voice in passive voice like the guitar was played by sasi at the party the same sentence which i have written here in active voice i have changed the same sentence into passive voice the guitar was played by sasi at the party so if you see here the subject is the guitar okay which is uh object in this sentence the guitar she played the guitar what did she play the guitar so she is uh, subject here but the object is the guitar here now this object is changed into subject in passive voice okay the guitar was played by sasi who is the performer of the action here sasi but sasi is used as an object here okay so whenever we are changing uh, the sentences in active voice into passive voice we have to change the place of subject and object first the subject in passive voice uh, active voice the subject the nouns used in active vo uh, active voice will be changed into object in passive voice and the object used in the active voice will change into uh, subject in passive voice okay like here the another example a dance was performed by him on his friend's birthday party so the same sentence he performed a dance what did he perform a dance so a dance is the object here now when i change this 
active sentence in passive voice a dance will be changed into uh, object a subject so yahan par a dance object hai active voice mein lekin jab is sentence ko hum passive voice pe change karenge to a dance jo object hai yahan par wo subject mein change hoga like a dance was performed so here a dance is subject but when you read this sentence who is the performer of the dance here him so he is changed into him he is subject but when it is changed into object it will become him okay like she becomes her okay like they becomes them we becomes uh, us like this so according to uh, uh, rules of grammar we need to change when the subjects are um, pronounce then accordingly we need to change it into object okay so now here a dance was performed by him on his birthday party so a dance is written here as uh, as the subject but here the sub uh, the action is not performed by the subject okay if you read the action is performed by the object here which was subject in active voice okay i hope you have understood what is voice what are the types of voice what is active voice and what is passive voice now we need to understand these important points okay whenever we are changing the sentences in active voice into passive voice okay we have to learn in this video in this chapter we have to learn about the rules of changing uh, sentences in active voice into passive voice to hum is video mein ye जानेंगे कि जो सेंटेंसेस एक्टिव वॉइस में है उसे पैसिव वॉइस में चेंज करते समय हमें किन किन चीजों का ध्यान देना है अंडरस्टूड वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एट फर्स्ट दैट ओनली द वर्ब्स इन ट्रांजिटिव फॉर्म्स कैन बी चेंज्ड इनटू पैसिव वॉइस ओके सो जो सेंटेंसेस पे अगर भर ट्रांजिटिव है ट्रांजिटिव मीन्स वर्ड्स दैट हैव ऑब्जेक्ट इन सेंटेंसेस सो जो वर्ड्स का ऑब्जेक्ट होता है सेंटेंसेस में उसी सेंटेंसेस को हम पैसिव uh, वॉइस में चेंज करेंगे ओके दैट मींस इन ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब्स कैन नॉट बी चेंज्ड इनटू पैसिव वॉइस ओके नाउ आफ्टर दैट व्हाट इज द मेन पॉइंट टू अंडरस्टैंड वाइल चेंजिंग द सेंटेंसेस इन एक्टिव वॉइस इनटू पैसिव वॉइस द सब्जेक्ट इज चेंज इन ऑब्जेक्ट and the object is changed into the subject in passive voice so jab hum sentences jo ki active voice mein hai use passive voice mein change karenge to us samay pehle hame jo active voice mein jo nouns aur pronoun subject ki tarah use hua hai use passive voice mein object mein change karenge aur active voice mein jo nouns aur pronoun object ki tarah use hua hai use hum passive voice mein subject banayenge okay so after that what we have to do preposition by is put before the object used in the sentence in passive voice so after changing the subject into object and object into subject in passive voice so this object ko hum passive voice mein this noun or pronoun ko hum active uh, passive voice mein object object ki tarah use karenge us object se pehle hum preposition by ka istemal karenge okay we will see this in examples also and after that what we have to understand is the main words used in the sentences in active voice have to be changed into the past participle form of verbs in the sentences in passive voice so when we change the sentences in active voice into passive voice the main words that the finite verbs the each sentences in active voice have to be changed into b3 form of the verbs so jo sentences active voice mein hai aur us sentence mein jo main verbs hai use jab hum passive voice mein change karenge to wo sare main verbs ko hum b3 form mein change karenge past participle form of the verbs okay this is very important to understand after that what we have to understand another point is the group of to be verbs has to be used before the past participle form of verbs in the sentences in passive voice so after changing the main verbs in active voice into b3 form of the verbs in passive voice before 
those bhitri form of verbs we have to make use of to be verbs it depends upon the uh, different tenses uh, the sentences are written in active voice it depends upon uh, the different tenses that which to be verbs we have to use depending upon different tenses okay so that we will understand with the structure of sentences in the later part of this video okay and uh, after after using to be verbs before the b3 form of the verbs all main verbs in passive voice are in b3 form okay passive voice mein jab hum sentences likhte hain to jitne bhi main verbs hota hai wo sara hum b3 form mein likhte hain okay now next point we have to understand is in case of sentences with more than one object direct and indirect objects take the take the direct object as the subject in passive voice so it does not mean that transitive verbs only have one object it uh, the transitive verbs the transitive verbs may have more than one object okay we already we have already known about the objects that uh, the sentences may have more than one object in that case we have to understand that there are direct and indirect object so direct objects are found uh, identified when we uh keep the question what after the verbs so when we find the direct object we have to change that direct object into subject in passive voice okay so now let us understand with the help of this example active voice he attends the meeting regularly so this is in simple present tense simple present tense so now uh who, what is the subject here he what is the object here the meetings so he attends the meeting regularly so he singular hai so attends b5 hai simple present tense mein hai so the object kya hai the meetings hai so now when we change this sentence in active uh, active voice into passive voice we have to first change the place of object into subject and subject into object like here the meeting the meetings are attended regularly by him now see here the meetings ye passive voice mein hai okay जो कि यहां पर एक्टिव uh, वॉइस में क्या था ऑब्जेक्ट था तो यहां पर हमने ऑब्जेक्ट को सब्जेक्ट बना दिया द मीटिंग्स आर अटेंडेड बाय हिम सो नाउ यहां पर ही ऑब्जेक्ट है ये सब्जेक्ट है एक्टिव वॉइस में ही सब्जेक्ट है तो इसे हमने पैसिव वॉइस में ऑब्जेक्ट बना दिया ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द फर्दर रूल्स दैट वी हैव एक्सप्लेन दैट आई हैड आई हैव एक्सप्लेन जस्ट बिफोर सी after changing subject into object before the object we have to use the preposition by preposition by okay and after that we have to change the main verbs into b3 form of the verb this is b5 form of the verbs now main verbs are changed into b3 form of the verb attended attended is b3 and b2 both but here it is used as b3 okay so b3 main verbs are changed into b3 okay so yahan par the meetings plural hai so this is in uh, simple present tense simple in, in in simple present tense we use is am is are am these three to be verbs are used in passive voice before the b3 form of the verbs in the sentences okay like here he attends the meetings regularly the meetings are attended so here are is used are is from the group of to be verbs so the sentence the sentence is in simple present tense so before uh before the b3 form of the verbs in passive voice in present tense in simple present tense uh we have to use either is am or are okay like are is used because the sentence is plural if the sentence would be like this he attends the meeting agar yahan par meetings ke jagah meeting hota to yahan par the meeting is hota the meeting is attended regularly by him understood so it depends upon the number of subjects and objects when you change them uh, their places we have to be very careful about the use of is and are okay now see here another example in active voice is she gave me a pen she gave me a pen what is the subject here she what is the object uh, what is the verb action of giving gave so we have two objects here one is me 
and another is pain so when we keep the question what after the verb then we will get the direct object what did she give pain a pain okay so a pain is the direct object here actually pain is the actual object here because it is the actual noun but we will take a pain as the object here okay so this is a pain is the direct object now we have to change this direct object into subject in passive voice a pain was given to me by her so her is the her is the object here so which was subject c here so when we when we change uh the pronoun c into object it becomes her okay so uh before as i explained you that before before the object in passive voice uh we put the preposition by so we have done here okay now we have to change the form of main verb so uh this sentence is in simple past tense this sentence is in simple past tense so in case of simple past tense when we change the sentences in simple past tense into act, passive voice we have to make the use of to be verbs was and were okay like here a pain was given to me by her so now we have to change uh, we have to change uh, this main verb into b3 form okay this sentence is in simple past tense so we have gave b2 form of the verb now we are changing this b2 form into b3 in passive voice okay so b3 of give is given this is passive voice this requirement is also fulfilled now what is the another requirement is the use of to be verbs before the b3 form of the verb so this sentence is in simple past tense so when we change the sentences in active voice in the simple past tense into passive voice we have to make use of either was or were so we have used we have used was here why because the subject pain is singular here so was so now if the sentence if the sentences in active voice would be in uh, plural uh, with plural object like she gave me pains agar pains hota yahan par to pains is plural so now if we change this uh, sentence in passive voice so pains yahan par kya hota pains so we have plural so we would have pains were given to me by her okay so now in case of uh, pronouns when we use pronouns as the subjects then he changes to him she changes to her okay it will change always to it only now they will change into them okay i changes to um me okay i changes to me okay now we changes to us so i hope uh, you have understood this basic uh, uh, basic concept regarding how to change sentences uh, in active voice into passive voice in our next video uh, we will understand the structure of sentences in different tenses and how to change those uh, sentences in different tenses into passive voice okay so i would like to stop here for today's class thank you so much students for being uh, the part of my today's class if you have any kind of doubts kindly clear your concept during the class period only okay students thank you so much